Originally, Lunar Lander was written to run under Vector Graphics on a, a GT40 uh, PDP-11 graphics terminal. In this case, I'm using uh, RT11 Basic, Deck Basic, to run a version of a similar program. The code was from the uh, Deck 101 Basic Computer Games book. So we'll go ahead and start the system. Let the drive spin up. As soon as the uh, light comes on, the drive will be ready, and then we could uh, start our T11. Boot DL. And now our system's up and running RT11. We'll call a directory. And we'll see at the bottom of the directory, there'll be a listing for lander.bas or basic. So let's go ahead and start basic first. Tell it all. And basic will prompt that it's ready. So to open the file, we'll type in old in lander, the name of the file. The system will read the drive and load the file into memory, and then come back with ready. And if we do list, we can actually see the contents of that file in memory. Go ahead and list the first uh, 100 lines, which is the introduction of the program. It has just the uh, basic introductory information, the first page that pops up. Let's list uh, lines 100 to 300, which will be the instruction screen. Lines 350 to 400 are the question about whether or not you want to read the instructions or if you're ready to start the game. 400 to 500 is the beginning of the game. It has uh, our main constants for time, height, velocity, and fuel. You can also see the line for the first line of the display. We'll go 500 to 730. That will show us some of the math and the statements. Uh, a couple of them that are important is the out of fuel and the contact with the surface statement. Line 750 to 1000 have the uh, outcome responses. There's three different outcomes. That includes exceeding the design specifications and your landing is not survivable. Congratulations on a successful landing or your landing is a hard landing. Then 1,160 is just the repeat the program loop. We'll go ahead and run the start the game. The first page pops up, which is really just introduction. It asks you if you want the instructions or not. We'll say yes. The instructions include things like the amount of fuel, what each burn per second gives you, and so on. When you actually get into the game, you'll see there's two sets of columns, one that displays time, altitude, feet per second, and fuel remaining, and a plot of distance from 500 foot down to the surface of the moon. Every time you enter a unit of the amount of fuel that you want to burn, the system will update the display. In this case, we're entering 10 units. That lowers our altitude to 202 feet, 15 feet per second, and 40 feet units of fuel remaining. Well, there's another 10. You can see we've run out of fuel. And then there's the contact with the lunar surface afterwards. We'll go ahead and tell it we want to run it again. In this case, we'll say we're going to burn five units of fuel. Another five. You can see we're dropping by 50 feet with a constant rate of 50 feet per second. And when we get to 50 feet, we'll burn 30 units. Which will drop us down to 12 and a half feet at 25 feet per second. Another 30 units. And that will give us an ideal touchdown at 0 feet per second. We'll run it again. 
five, five, six, five, four, five, five, seven, five, eight, nine, thirty, a little too fast, twenty nine, try to slow it up. Almost out of fuel, 15 units, but we're only at 8 feet at 0 feet per second. Do 3, 12 units, 7 feet, 2 feet per second. 4 feet at 4 feet per second. 9 units of fuel remaining. And final 5, which gives us a contact at four feet per second. That gives you kind of an idea of how the game works. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the next basic game will be, but maybe something with better graphics. <laughs>